that you're, you're well known for theater sports. I know, I know. It didn't do me any good. Uh, well, because it's so bad, I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. It encourages competition. Well, you don't have a good coach who stops that. Well, it it's, gets isn't horrible. the competition's meant to be... Fake. Fake, and for the audience, yeah. Well, you want to... The show's the thing. Yeah. Not the actor who wins. We don't care. It, I took it from wrestling. Professional wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. English professional wrestling, which was kind of nice and family entertainment. And grannies running out, hitting the wrestlers with their handbags. And <laughs> Fake grannies, you understand? Yeah, so, but what, what captured yeah. you about wrestling? Oh, my friends took me, my homosexual friends took me along. Mm -hmm. I think they like to see naked men beating each other up. I don't know. I mean, they seem to enjoy it in a different way. I was stunned by the audience. This is a real audience. They're not afraid to, yeah, I mean... Who's that? Alexander Woolcott went to the Peking Opera in 1936 and was amazed to find that the audience was alive, took part, and cheered. A great move of the actor would be cheered and applauded. And it's like, well, I think the Kabuki was the same. Mm -hmm. But what he didn't understand was he was seeing the real audience, that we lost the sport. That the theater lost their audience to sports. Yeah. Yeah. The sporting audience are not afraid to react. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, our audiences are like whipped dogs, basically. Especially if it's cultural, they're supposed to like it. Oh, there's an audience etiquette. Yeah. Well, I mean... Anyway, Wolcott was astounded at these scrutable Orientals and didn't see the connection between sport. He was seeing the genuine audience. Mm. A genuine audience expresses itself. They can fall into bad things like the cliques and the 18th century and stuff. And the, but in general, yeah, I mean, living theatre, we were very pleased with the English, actually, when they toured Europe and they came to England. Well, because they would say things and complain to the audience, and the audience would complain back. In England? Yeah, they would talk to them. Yeah. <laughs> I can't smoke pop, neither can I, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> oh, they, they, they was a live audience. Our audience was much live than, even than the European one. Hmm. But I guess they're more cultured. So you go to professional wrestling and you like what you see? I like the audience. You like the audience. The content was not very interesting to okay. me. And it was quite simple. There would be dwarfs running between the wrestlers' legs. Mm -hmm. But that was the only gag that the dwarfs did. There were, um, sometimes they'd class themselves together and lie on the stage like two magnets. And then the audience would take over and yell things. And, and so you wanted a, an alive I wanted and a live audience. audience in the theater. Yeah. Because wouldn't it be great if... That's right. Yeah. I saw, I saw a real audience. Whereas the Royal Court audience were like whipped dogs in comparison.